Hey there, welcome to Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend. Uh, joined today by my stalwart chums. Hey. Sonam Ossessian. Hi. And of course, uh, Matt Gorley. Uh, you're a wunderkind, Gorley. I'll say that. What? Where's that coming from? Well, just that we babble and bibble. And um, then whenever I check out the podcast, you you just do a very lovely job. You make it all happen. Oh, thanks. You're the secret sauce. I'm mm. going to say that right now. I'm not alone. There's Eduardo. There's Adam. There's Blay. There's yeah, Ruthie. They really do nothing. You think about it. I mean... Eduardo actively works against the podcast. That's true. Oh, that's that's true. true. I try to mute him every time. <laughs> yeah. uh, Eduardo, I mean, the number of times that Eduardo has actively tried to remove my voice from the podcast yeah. is um, stunning. Yeah. I mean, I, I can't let him fall on the sword. That comes from high up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it like, comes from you. The biggest note on uh, Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend is less Conan. Yeah. yeah. We're hearing that a lot across the board. And that was always the note on Late Night with Conan O'Brien. Mm. Conan, and it's the Conan show starring Conan. <laughs> Less Conan is what people wanted, and uh, you got to give them what they want. Also, I think I add something too. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do, you Sona. Do. Sona, you do. And oh, God. I, no, I was about to say you you are a, a wonderful part of the podcast. I was going to say it's amazing that you can make it here because you have twin boys. You're a, a working mom, and that's an incredible thing. But then uh, I, there's part of me that wants to take that compliment away right. because you get so much help yes. from your family. Okay. And I'm bitter about that. Why are you bitter? Why are you bitter? Yeah, how much I was I unattended can, as a child. I can be here. I roamed the forest. No, okay. You did not roam a forest. You, you grew up in a suburban part of yes. Boston. Yes. Dark forests on every side. No, no. I've been there. The there forest was, of no. Newton. No. West Boylston. <laughs> What the hell are you the, talking about? The, the dark, frightening forest of Natick. Wellesley. I mean, uh, these no are... No one knows what you're talking about except exactly. people from Boston. Yeah. Well, you I'm act like you were happen. raised by the Blair Witch or something. You were <laughs> well, I'm pampered and you probably had it easy as a dad. Come on, give it to her. Yeah. No, 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 no. No. Listen, there were six kids, uh, two parents, both of them off doing their own thing, working hard. God bless them. And you had your grandma. Wasn't your grandma living with you and helping you out? She was just telling us, watch out for those Protestants. <laughs> <laughs> They'll get you at school. I mean, she was from the Victorian area, literally. Yeah. So she was always trying to get my sisters to wear like uh, a corset made of whalebone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One of the things my grandmother would always say is, don't sit in wet grass or you'll get diarrhea. <laughs> what? This is the kinds of things. Wait a minute. So, yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, I, love, th I, I love my grandmother. Her name was Maudie. But I don't, you know. <sighs> I'm just curious on the logic of that. Is it that the, the wetness from the grass is seeping in and infecting? There the is body? no logic. Well, yeah. What are you doing? There's I, no I, logic you here. You know, I can't have shoes flipped upside down or it'll throw off my whole life. Like, that's what I've been told. Like By your you, parents. If you store shoes, it can't be upside down. So I never put that's shoes That's a superstition up. that you heard? Yeah. What other superstitions do you have in your family? Family. God, there's so many. You can't have any dirty dishes in the sink at the end of the day. They all have to be clean and put away. Well, that's not a, that's, that's just called just a manipulation. Yeah, that's well, manipulating no, it you. means yeah. it just, there's anything there's like, you're tying up loose ends. Like, you know, purse straps can't be in knots or shoes, shoes, uh, laces oh, because can't it's be a bad, in knots. Because it's uh, a bad energy. It's bad energy. My family was like, don't touch the fire. It's hot. Oh. Yeah, because you came from a long line of sensible folk, <laughs> Protestants. But <laughs> what does that mean? Mind people are not sensible. Oh, oh, come on, Sony. You know they're not. They're not sensible people, and neither am I. Yeah, I bet don't you come, don't sit. We in, don't come from sensible people. You don't sit in wet grass though, even today, probably, because you think you'll get diarrhea. No, there's a part of you that kind of believes it. And no. when you do get diarrhea, do you think to yourself, "Did I sit in wet grass today?" <laughs> and guess what? Every time I have, <laughs> I went to a wet grass festival. I was on the toilet for nine years after that. I know that is the diarrhea festival. Yeah. They play, yeah. Uh, well, I didn't know it by that name. Okay. It says it in parentheses underneath. I see. Wet grass festival now serving diarrhea. Um, <laughs> listen, uh, <laughs> providing diarrhea since 1908. I'm probably uh, one of the people that my parents got to look after us kids while they were away was this uh, woman. Um, I think she was from Prince Edward Island. And she, uh, you know, had rural customs and traditions. 
I said a word that wasn't even that bad, like crud or what is this crud? She took me to the bathroom on the second floor of our house and took out a bar of dial soap <sighs> and washed my mouth out with soap. Oh, oh boy. And I don't think that's happened to anybody in my generation. I had my mouth washed. You had my your mouth washed? My grandma washed my mouth. Oh, she soap. did. What? Okay, well then I give, I, 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 it's, it's, as and you know what I remember really clearly? Like this is a punishment that, that goes back a hundred years. It's a Dickensian punishment. Yeah. Um, I remember at her, She's rubbing. No, listen. This is me. <laughs> you're of course, everyone's mining. laughing. You're on camera, you're right? Mining. I know I'm on camera. This is what happened. Here's Show me with both hands. Here's the. Well, if you insist. So the soap. Here's the problem. How do you mime anything like getting your wash, your mouth washed out oh, with soap? Come on. And not invoke the old. Oh, I think ha -ha. you hold it like this and no, like because that. I'm telling you what she did. I'm pretty sure it was so. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, what was this? Now it's just a repressed memory. <laughs> oh. That was no lady. Oh. So anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm realizing all these things right now. <laughs> oh, my God. This took such a dark turn. <laughs> anyway, what I remember is, I don't know if you had the same experience, the soap bar was going vigorously in and out of my mouth. Imagine bar of soap. This is not the dimensions of a cock. <laughs> and then, on the eh, cock. Eh, 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 eh. But what I remember is, I can't, everyone here is losing it. What I remember is the soap caking up on the back of my front yeah. teeth. It's the That's punishment gross. that keeps on punishing yes, you because you can't get you, it out. Yes, because you taste it for days yeah. afterwards. And when I'd hiccup, a bubble would come out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and this isn't the days of like, you know, ivory artisanal soaps. This is like Irish <laughs> spring. That, that tastes chemical. really good. I yes. would have killed for Irish spring. <laughs> oh, me too. There are little bits of, bits of uh, beef and lamb in there. <laughs> the Irish know how to make a soap, God damn it. Uh. No, I'm telling you that that's how I grew up. And so I think sometimes I become angry, Sona, when I see how much you're getting all this great help from your you, parents. You did come in a little angry today. And yeah. I think your way of releasing your anger is just to shit on, shit on me. That's terrible. It's, it's been what you do. It's my, no. my job security. It's fine. Listen, I get it. Your father has that amazing mustache <laughs> and he's taking such good care of your boys, as is your uh, lovely my mother. Mom, yeah. And you've got all these cousins and everyone comes from the neighborhood yeah. and they all hold the baby. You've yet to hold your own I children. Can't I can't believe you do. begrudges. She had twins. She's a working mom with twins and you're begrudging her getting help you yeah, exactly. monster yeah, exactly I resent it go get some soap let's wash your guys mouth out. I resent it and please make sure it's Irish spring and <laughs> also get some cocks yeah. <laughs> cock shaped soap I remember it was cock shaped for a short time oh that makes more sense yes for a short uh, time a Dial was making a, a dildo shaped soap yes and this is around 1970 and they did it look it was a failed experiment it was 1973 no because they had Irish swing Oh, well, then they switched to Irish swing. That's right. Yeah. And then oh. <laughs> <laughs> Irish swing. I like to wash me mouth out every day. In and out and in and out with the old Irish cockaroo. All right. Uh, we got to get to it. <laughs> this is stupid. And uh, my apologies to people in the soap industry. <laughs> Uh, anyone who's had been triggered by their mouth being washed out with soap or uh, filleting a soapy cock. Here we go. 